Today I'll show you the automated SAP node search functionality of our product and I'll use VA03 for this purpose. I'll display standard order and on the item detail tab I find a problem that the column header for this customer material uh, field is, is incorrect. It's truncated. So let me submit a ticket. I'll double click here. I allow the program to take a screenshot and now the main screen of the product comes up. So I enter a subject here that um, we call them header is truncated. Um, I can give a long description to the uh, test. Um, in this video we use ServiceNow as an ITSM platform for the demonstration. So here we have some um, service number related fields. I will set everything to low. The assignment group is determined by the based on the transaction code. And let me just tick this checkbox to open the incident once it's created and I press send. So now you can see that the uh, uh, product will create an incident in service now, attach a lot of extra information and among that we have SAP nodes. Here you go, the incident was created successfully, that's a SAP success message. And here we have uh, the new uh, incident that was created. We have an authorization report, we have a shortcut to transaction code, we have a screenshot and a PDF file containing all SAP information. But now this is the attachment that I, I'd like to show you. That's an HTML file which contains the results of an automated SAP node search. So here you can see that the search uh, was uh, using the subject as a, a search term along with the transaction code. There was a filter added for the uh, application component of the current transaction. And here we have a solution uh, provided by SAP. So you can see that the column header text for the customer material number is truncated. Now if you click on the uh, SAP note field then uh, you're taken to the note directly. So we've just found the solution for the problem that the end user has reported. Now I will show you how you can override the automatic search manually. So let me create another ticket. Now we can see that uh, the program warns us that somebody has already submitted a ticket from the same transaction. Of course it was uh, uh, the ticket that we've just submitted, so I will create a new one. And now I will enter another subject like test. And if your SAP user has the ne necessary authorizations, then uh, you get the SAP node search button here. So this is not available for simple end users, but power users or analysts, programmers, basis administrators uh, can have this. Um, <clears throat> and let's see what happens. So if you press that, then you're taken to um, a report which allows you to search for SAP nodes and all these uh, search criteria are populated automatically. So um, now the transaction code and the subject is added here but you can modify this according to your needs. Um, and uh, now I will clear the filter for the application component to have some more records. And there you go. So now we have uh, different search result and if you feel that this one suits better your situation if uh, you want to attach this one instead of the automatic um, node search then you just simply press back and choose yes to attach the last SAP node search result to the ticket and now I press send. Again, the same thing happens, the ticket is created, attachments are uploaded, and here we have the relevant SAP node list again, and now we have a, a few other nodes found as well, because we have a simpler search term. So using this technique, you can automate a manual task that's pretty much every time carried out by SAP analysts or administrators. Um, manually searching the SAP node database for a solution. Now this can be done automatically and um, often you can uh, even attach the solution itself to the incident.